Hi there. As uh, promised, uh, I'm here to review um, the real reel. I did mention a while back when I made um, my handbag collection video featuring almost all my handbags that um, I was planning to um, consign some of them to the real reel. And um, I did consign um, some of them. And um, I'm here to talk about um, how the process goes. So for those who are uh, considering um, consigning their luxury items um, in the future, then this is like a step-by-step -step, or at least just to give you um, a heads up as to what to um, expect when consigning. Okay, so uh, the real real um, is the most uh, popular, I would say most popular and most uh, trustworthy luxury online consignment to date. And um, they also already opened um, a shop in uh, New York City. So I've been planning to uh, consign uh, my handbags online Although I do that um, sometimes, well, I do sell my bags on eBay, on Poshmark. Sadly, I haven't made any money on Poshmark yet, so I really don't know how that process or how it works because they have these um, private sale and uh, sales or um, share sharing of closet. Well, I can't be bothered to watch, you know, the videos as to, you know, when you sell something online, you know, I feel like I don't have to re-advertise it by sharing it with another, you know, sharing it to other people or my followers or or sharing um, their items too. So I just can't be bothered to do any of that. So unfortunately, I haven't made any money on Poshmark and I have um, already... I think I opened my uh, store there or closet... I think uh, August of last year. So I haven't sold any. So, you know, I'm so bummed because I really don't know how it works. But anyway, I've sold most of my um, items on um, TradeC and um, some on um, eBay. So uh, I decided to try the real real because, um, because they are very, very trustworthy and at the same time, they do all the work for you. So those are the advantages. They do all the work for you. So all you have to do is to, there are actually a lot of ways to do it. Either you, if you have 20, if you have 10 or more items to consign, then you could request for the real, real representative to come to your house and um, collect the items and um they would also give you an outright uh, estimate of uh, each, um, you know, each item that you're selling. And at the same time, um, if you want to do it, the, you know, like what most people do, if they can't be bothered to wait for their representative, because one disadvantage is that you have to um, make a schedule or they will reschedule you um, to meet up with uh, the real, real representative. So normally they would come to your house, of course. And uh, of course, whatever time or date it is. So it's just the waiting. Sometimes it, um, the first time I consigned, I used that. I, I used, I asked them to, um, to send the real, real representative here here in, yeah to the house and she did come but that was i think seven days after you know i've made an appointment so they have representatives in the area so the representative who came to my area was somebody from um miami and she was very very nice so she came here and she left with uh, my goodies and um yeah and uh, the other three times I've consigned, I used the the um, their mailing service. So all you have to do is to um, send them 
what you want to consign. So there's a button here that says consign. So you just have to, uh, of course, you have to open an account first. And then you can um, outright purchase whatever you want if you're a member. And then these are, uh, you have to consign. And then you have to schedule a free in-person or request a free shipping kit. So that's what I did. But instead of waiting for my free shipping kit to come because it takes uh, several days or at least a week for the shipping kit to arrive, what I did was I just called the Real Real and they told me they just gave me a label number and then I just dropped off my my things in um, FedEx. So I just um, brought all my handbags and my goodies with me to FedEx. They wrapped it up for me and then they gave me the tracking number and that was it. And they are very, very flexible though. So uh, even if you have, let's say, listed 10 items or less or whatever, and you want to change the items, all you have to do is to cross it out and then, you know, replace it in handwriting. So it's not really, really very, very formal. So um, if you do that, if you request for a shipping kit, um, the FedEx would come with a big box, a not so big box, and inside that box would be an envelope that looks like this, the real, real. And okay, it gives you why consign with us, how to consign, okay, and they have the top artists to consign. And what's accepted, women, men, and uh, artists, fine jewelry and arts. And, okay, and this one, this is the item list. So you just have to com complete the following information and include this with your shipment. But what I did was I just, you know, since I input my items online, I just had to print it out and then just cross out whatever you want. So, um yeah so it's not actually a big deal it's it's not very very formal so that's um uh, one good thing okay so what i don't understand is um there are items that they have online for sale let's say michael kors handbags the lower end michael kors but they won't accept that and they don't accept escada shoes and some other designers or um this uh i have a Giorgio armani no not Giorgio armani but an um Armani sandals, and they don't accept accept any of that. Although, um, online you can find even um, Dooney and Burke and um, Coach handbags here. But when you call them, because, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to send my items there if they're not accepted. They did tell me to follow whatever the artists that are listed here are, the list of designers, instead of the actual um uh, products that you see or designers online they don't accept Michael Kors uh, but they do accept the upper line or the premium line of Michael Kors and although you could see here they do accept Michael Kors, Dune and Burton coach bags but they don't accept any of that anymore so I don't understand because I have other handbags like um, Francesco Biagia and some other items that you can see here but they won't accept that. So for, I think the reason is um, either it's not selling, but I don't think it's not selling because they're all sold here. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they're, they're not accepting those. So it's better to stick to um, the uh, designers that are printed here. And I was surprised to find out that they don't accept Hudson jeans or... Um, I think Paige or uh, I think Rag and Bone. They told me no, so I have those and um, and and is it Seven for All Mankind? Yeah, yeah. They don't they don't accept those, but online they have those for sale. So it's just confusing. But anyway, if you if you can risk if you want to risk, but what they do is you can accept all. Uh, you can send all the items to them and then they will do everything the authentication to photographing and advertising so your item sells really fast here so i consigned to them i think um november yeah for a uh, third week of november so on my first uh, month of of sales i only had um 20 of income and then 
on the second month i had 848 dollars third month was i think 400 something plus and last month i had 781 dollars so um let me see um i hope we don't get cut off here okay so let me see uh what okay so you have to go to your oh oh dear i'm sorry um uh, no no let me see my account okay so we have to go to my sales and yeah so it just says there my sales 781 dollars 60 percent commission so you have to reach um, a target so basically when you're a first time consigner it would be 50 percent but that depends on the item because they also have promotions like handbags that are worth more than one thousand dollars i think you get 60 percent and then if it's five thousand dollars you get 70 percent and they have tiers like that so uh, i need six thousand two hundred forty five dollars in order to get the 60 percent commission rate so so there and what what i like about the real real is that it's hassle free they do everything so i would highly highly recommend uh, this site because they do the authentication i've sent some items to them because they thoroughly check them and i've sent some items to them that they said um it's just this is a vintage it's a vintage piece like i had a gucci bag they said it's more than 20 years old so they don't accept that super super vintage so i got they will send it back to you and you will be provided with a um, tracking number and then if they are not sure of the authentication i had one cartier bag i sent three cartier bags but one cartier bag bag was sent back to me and they said that um uh it needs there's no proof of um like authenticity or um things like that so i have sent some handbags there that i'm not sure of if they're authentic or not and uh turned out most of them are authentic because some of the handbags that i sent them were handbags that i bought from the flea market and from the thrift shop of course i won't be you know the thing is um they do authenticate for you so they have a thorough process of checking so whether or not it's authentic they, it will get sent back to you they will say okay this is not authentic or um i had a handbag a versace handbag with a, which is missing a, a a hole i mean it has a hole it's not actually a hole but it's just a tiny tear and they, then they brought it back to me even if it's not seen they're very very meticulous so that's one good thing okay so i actually have consigned a lot of items to them like my prada you can just see that my prada scarf keychain that's been lying around they were able to sell that for 140 dollars and i got and bummer is that it's 20 percent discount they always say they always have 20 percent or 30 percent discount so that really really you know takes the value off but uh anyway it is it is what it is so once it's in their possession they can just price whatever they want and i got a 50 percent commission on that so you start with 50 percent mostly and then i got 70 dollars on that and then I got a Gucci waist buckle belt that I wasn't sure of what it was. I bought it for $2 or $3 from a thrift shop, but I didn't know. I, I wasn't sure what it was for, and they were able to uh, sell it for uh, $50. Therefore, I got 25%. And then I sent my, um, don't send your um, sunglasses because they would really, really put it up for a low price. So I sent my Dolce & Gabbana um sunglasses that was worth 250 and they sent it they sold it for 40 dollars i only got 20 dollars so that was just i could have just given it away you know and the tag hoyer professional watch uh, that i listed online for 500 dollars i uh i i i actually um gave it to them to sell a uh, bummer it's it's a vintage type and it's a professional watch they sold it for 276 dollars and i got 165 dollars on that so it's really really low so that's the one one 
that that's the the only thing you know you cannot set your price it's really 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 low unless you have that person the representative come to you and say okay this is how much it's worth and you would email um they would email the office and tell you um you know give you a quote on that and my Cartier handbag that's one of my precious you know um vintage items it only sold for $316 and I paid, I think, $500 from this thrift shop in Boca and I only got $189. So my percentage on that is 60%. So I was, I, I asked them to um, give me some of the handbags because I saw how much they were selling for. They were selling them for $100 for my Philip Lim new with everything, you know receipt and everything it's new and it was only a hundred dollars so i'll just be getting fifty dollars so i you can actually ask them to send the item back to you but expect a very very long wait probably more than a month i've i've uh, given it to them december and until now i still don't have it i think it's coming today via fedex so you can just imagine it's like two months and i have several items that i asked for them to give it back to me because it's not worth it like I consigned my, um, I, I've consigned my Marnie handbag, my Jill Sander handbag, and I was too late to, um, I was too late to have this canceled. I wanted it back, but I was too late to call them. That was my Fendi medium to jewelry tote that I was actually selling for thirteen hundred dollars. They only sold it for six hundred sixty one, and I only got three hundred ninety six dollars on that. So that is. Um, I was, you know, that's a low, low, this was a patent leather. So online, I, w I put it off for $1,400, like a patent leather, medium to yours, but mm, they sold it for 661. Uh, I mean, I lost money on that. Okay. So don't, um, I don't know. You just have to check how much they go for. And, um, yeah. And I asked them to bring the, these two items to me because they initially sold this Raymond Ta Wild Tango wash that I paid $900 for on the ship, on the allure of the seas. And then they were selling, they sold it for $200, so I was going to get only $100. Good thing the, the buyer returned it. So, so I asked them to return it to me because $100 for a Raymond Wild Tango wash with diamonds, it's not worth it. So I'd rather keep it. And for things that really, really mean to you, please don't consign it to them or that are really, really expensive unless you really, you know, really don't care about it. But this one that my Christian Dior, uh, vintage uh crystal collar necklace that i i've been putting it off for i think 500 600 dollars they had it for 400 dollars but i asked them to return it to me because this is irreplaceable so it's a chunky um necklace statement necklace so i said okay no i'm they put it off for 400 dollars i said no that's why it says return request consigner so i'm still waiting for these two items too be returned to me. Okay, so this, I sold my new Prada Sport printed sneakers and I told them to get, bring it back to me, send it back to me because I paid $550 for this. It was only used for 20 minutes. And then since I had all the boxes and the dust bags and it's very new, I thought it would at least sell for $300, but no, they only sold it for $98, for $76. It was $95 is 20%. So I lost a lot of money on this. I paid $400 for these, for these Prada shoes and I only got $38. So I could have just given it to wherever or whoever. So that's what I'm telling you. Unless you really don't care about the item, don't, you know, don't cons consign to them. Otherwise, you know, uh, the price, because it's very cheap. And, um, okay, I didn't care about this. I had a Ferragamo um, suede midline calf boots. I didn't care about this. So they sold it for $108. Because they always offer 20% discount. So that's a bummer. It's already cheap. But then um, the person told me, that, oh, don't worry. They always put 20% markup there. But they make sure that you get your money back. But no, I don't think so. 
Anyway, and I they sold my Etro logo slide sandals. So I only got $22 for that. I really don't care about that. They, they sold my Chanel suede sandals uh, for $192 because they had a 30% discount. And I got $115 um, on that. And then I still have this. It hasn't sold yet. They sold my new Stuart Weitzman. I got $22. Okay, so tell me if that's a good... <laughs> I, I They sold my my uh, Saint Laurent Velvet Toe Palms for $116. I only got $58. This one is still on sale. And then I didn't care much about the Gucci. This one because I got it from a thrift shop. And uh, anyway, I, I knew it was authentic and they sold it for $200. This one, I lost money on this. They only I only got fifty dollars for this, and I, I got it from a from a, a second hand a consignment shop, and I paid I think ninety dollars, so I lost money. This one is okay. It's my Fendi Pony Hair Forever Mama bag. I got it from a thrift shop, believe me or not. For, I know from the flea market for forty bucks. They sold it for one hundred ninety two, so I only got one hundred fifteen dollars for that. So that's okay, and the Cartier bag. They sold it for $340. And this one, I got a profit on this one, the Christian Dior saddle bag, because um, I wasn't sure if it was authentic or not, because it was, I bought it from a thrift shop and the owner told me, I don't think that's real. But I knew it was real because, you know, every it didn't have um, an item number or a serial number, but everything was just, you know, very, very good. Uh, it's a denim single saddle bag. So I only paid 18 bucks for that. So I said, I'm not sure if it's real. Anyway, I'm just going to send it to them. And it turned out to be authentic. So they were able to sell it for $195. So I I got my money back for um, $195. So I, I had like... I only got that for $18. Okay, so that was my commission payment already. And this Dina Ricci leather bag... Um, they, I only got $50 for that. And, okay, so these two items, these two handbags, okay, I got these from a thrift shop, the Chloe Kerala equipped bag. But I was going to use it, but then it's too big for me. I sent it to them, and they were able to sell it for $156. I only got paid $85 for that, of course, with a 55% commission. And this Ferragamo Marisa bag, I got it from a thrift shop for twenty dollars. They sent, they sold it for one hundred ninety six. I got one hundred seven dollars uh, return on that. Okay, so um, it's so easy. It's very very. Uh, I would say it's very very smooth. You know, a transaction when you go through through them. And the thing is, when they pay you every month, like fifteenth, let's say, uh, your item sold for let's say January of uh, this one, of this month, I'm sorry, January 15, you will get your payment Feb 15, and then they will deposit it on the 15th, and you will get it right away, so I like it because it's because of the prompt payment, I love it, because they have like a one month window for returns and all that, I wish it was a bit sooner, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about that, because they do all the work, and uh, compare that to Trade C. I've been selling a lot on Trade C, but then this time, the payment is just taking so long. It's like I, I sold my handbag. Um, it's been three weeks already, and I still don't have the money. So, uh, from the time it was sold, it was sent, and um, they said after three days. You would get it. But anyway, I've been selling for them and I've been, I, I like Trade C. I trust them a lot. And I've made so much money on Trade C selling my used items, handbags, and I've, I've bought a lot of items from them. And um, yeah, so they do all the work here. So yeah, so, so far I've made $20 plus. Eight hundred forty-eight dollars plus five hundred dollars plus seven hundred eighty-one. So without doing anything. So if uh, you're like me, well, if you're very busy and you just want to get rid of your stuff, just send it to them. You know they will do everything for you, and you will just see your money in the bank on the fifteenth if it sells. But anyway, I don't have much uh, stuff left here because uh, I've learned my lesson. I will just consign the items that I really don't care about.
So, um, <laughs> so unless um, you know you really really need the money, then um, the thing is they will price your items so low. Plus, they have these um, ongoing sales, twenty percent, thirty percent, and then. Um, I've lost a lot of money on my handbags, but anyway, there were some items that, you know, I made, you know, some money, so, um, it's okay. So, uh, my review is very positive. I like it and they have a very nice, uh, they have very good communication. You know, you can just email them or you can just give them a call. So they're always available when you need them, but I have an issue with them right now. Um, I told them to hold off the Prada stickers for me, and I I also saw it here. Saw it here that says consigner uh, request return, but they sold it, and they only I only got thirty eight dollars for that, and I paid like less than five hundred dollars. I'm really really you know <laughs> I'm just a bit upset, but I don't know why they sold it anyway. I didn't care much about that uh, Prada sneakers anyway. It's just that I wanted it back if I was just if it was just gonna be sold for ninety five dollars because it was new, uh, basically new, just twenty twenty minutes with socks on, and then uh, you know it it just it bruised me though. So I thought I was gonna get at least three hundred fifty, but I was so wrong. So the thing is, you cannot dictate what you know or how much. Because, of course, they know the market and, um, yeah, they offer sales all the time and uh, I like it. I like it. I wish I had more items to consign, but right now, I think I'm better off, uh, you know, if, if my items don't sell, then I will give it to them because they will pretty much um, sell your items faster, you know. And, um, yeah, because of the sales and of course they have a, a huge, uh, you know, market. So, um, yeah, I'm still thinking if I'm going to consign my Louis Vuitton, uh, shoes and my Chanel shoes, but I think I'll get more money if I sell that, you know, so that's my review. Um, the real, real, if you just, you know, want your money sitting down, doing absolutely nothing, and you're not in a hurry or whatever. And if you don't care about the item, how much it, they would sell it for, then go ahead. Okay, so that's my review. Okay, bye.